Hi, it's Kiara from Insured Mine. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to work deals through the deal cards on Pipeline Manager and Insured Mine. There are multiple ways to create deal cards on your pipeline. Up at the top, there's the Add from Any Screen button. You can click here and then select Add Deal, and the Add Deal window will open up on the far right. From Pipeline Manager, you can select Add Deal, and the same screen will open up. You'll decide whether this is a personal or commercial account. If you select personal, you'll type in the contact's name. It's searching AMS or Insured Mind in order to see whether this contact already exists. If the contact already exists, you can select the customer's name. If the contact does not exist, you'll select Create New, and it will create a new contact and a deal card at the same time. You can have multiple agents assigned to a deal card. The deal title typically is the customer's name or the company name, dash, whatever type of coverage that they're looking for. You'll decide the pipeline and the stage that this deal card should be placed on. Any labels that have been created for you. Deal category is the type of coverage that they're looking for. Deal health, whether it's hot, cold, or warm. Lead source, how did they hear about you, and the due date. The due date refers to the due date for the stage that the deal card will be placed on. The expected closing date is the expected expiration date of their policy, and you can add any description. If you select more options, here is where you can fill out the expected premium, the date of birth, and the full address of the company or contact. Once you've created your deal card, your deal card will land on the stage and the pipeline that you have told it to. And then here you can see from outside of the deal card, the company name, the category, the premium, any notes that have been added, who is assigned to the deal, the deal health, any labels that have been added to the deal card, and any tasks that are due. To work a deal, you'll select the deal title, and then the deal card will open up. On the far left panel, you have additional information to capture from the deal, including description, any quotes. You can have multiple quotes added into one deal card. Any pipeline automations, if the customer has been signed up for any, you can add one at any given point, and you can also stop or turn off an automation. The intake form is the quote intake form for your customer. In Insured Mine, we have some default quote sheets that you can use, or you can create your own custom form through our form builder. From inside the deal card, you can also select the account name and Account360 will open up. You can type in the expected revenue. Revenue is going to be the commission that you would make off of that deal. You can always add additional assignees, so agents to work on the deal card. If you notice the star next to the name, so this means John is the primary contact. So Brian will be able to see the deal and work the deal, but all communication that is sent through the deal card will always come from the primary contact. And you can add multiple labels to a deal card. Labels will tell you what's happening with the deal card without going into the deal card itself. So what that will look like is from outside, you'll have the color tabs on the deal cards. In the center screen, you can add a task, you can add a checklist. Your admin has created a checklist for your account. If you would like additional checklists to be added, you can always create your own and add items to the checklist. You can mark multiple things off on the checklist. And from outside of the deal card, you'll be able to see how many items have been completed out of the checklist. So for this deal card, three out of five items on the checklist have been completed. The number from outside of the deal card will tell you how many days the deal card has been in that stage. If your admin has turned on the inactive, deal cards will highlight after they have not been touched after the set number of days. So it will look like these here. It's gonna highlight an orangish yellow. Inside of the deal card, you can add notes. Any communication that has happened with the customer will be found in the deal card as well. 
and it's broken down by email, text, calls, and voicemail drop. And it will document the history in chronological order. You can add any files or quote sheets attached, any activities that have happened, and the timeline is going to be the story of the deal card from its point of creation. If you win the deal, you'll mark the deal card one up at the top. You'll decide which quote was won, and you can fill out the rest of the information. If you lose a deal, you'll click loss. You'll decide which quote was lost. And here you can give it a lost reason. Your admin has created the lost reasons for you. If you would like to add more lost reasons, connect with your admin. At the very bottom, you'll set the X date. So this X date will be the predicted expiration date of their policy that they would have next year. And you could tell this deal card to come back up to resurface a certain number of days before this X date that you have plugged in here. This gives you an opportunity to win back the customer or to work with them again.